On this testicular ultrasound, do we see a malignant finding? We see multiple small cystic tubular and coax structures replacing the testicular mediastinum. The shape is geographic and there's no mass effect. This structure also lacks any significant internal vascularity. The diagnosis here is tubular ectasia of the reet testis. The reet testis is a network of small tubules in the testicle that help move sperm cells from the testicle to the epididymis. It is a benign condition thought to result from the partial or complete obliteration of the efferent ducts. These spermatozoa containing cysts communicate with the tubular system into the epididymis. They're frequently bilateral, but may be asymmetric. These branching tubules converge at the mediastinum testis, and the dilated tubules create a lace-like or fishnet appearance. The adjacent parenchyma is normal, and there are common associations with ipsilateral spermatoceles. As seen here on this sagittal gray skull ultrasound of the epididymal head, we see large spermatoceles denoted by the curved arrow. There's also partial visualization of tubular tasia denoted by the straight arrow. As mentioned, these tubules are avascular and fluid-filled. There's no significant flow on color Doppler imaging. Differential includes a testicular carcinoma. For example, mixed germ cell tumors with teratomatous components may have cystic areas. So be sure to pay attention for that. Another consideration is an intratesticular varicocele. And lastly, a testicular infarct would present as an avascular wedge-shaped area with sharp borders. Integrating clinical history is important. And in the case of this diagnosis, it's usually non-palpable, asymptomatic, and an incidental finding. Now I know a lot about tubular ectasia of the reet testis. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.